guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys have an awesome lovely very beautiful day today i'm gonna make my 27 week update i am today i am 27 weeks and six days so that means tomorrow i'm gonna be 28 weeks but before i get to 28 weeks i want to make an update about this week about week 27 so today um this week has been really i can say rough because honestly i'm getting more tired i'm getting very exhausted um i've been taking naps really like starting to take naps every single day um so about 27 weeks and like four or five days I started like take a nap every single day um, or I sleep early um, usually I go to sleep at 10 in the night but now I'm going to sleep around like 7 or 6 p.m. like it's just been exhausting um, and it is in it it doesn't really matter if I do something or I don't do nothing at all it doesn't matter I feel exhausted either way uh, today it was a very um, well, today, particular today, I did a lot today. We went to a lot of places and, you know, grabbed some few stuff uh, before the New Year's um, get done. So, I've been really, um, you know, really, really tired. So, that's one of the moods I've been in, just really tired. Um, pretty much my moods has been, you know, there are some occasions that I'm very frustrated or that I'm very mad. Um, but really it's nothing that i've been mad about is really nothing it's just it's just basically my mood sometimes i change moods sometimes i could be in the in the best mood possible happy excited and then out of a sudden i just change you know i think it's just pregnancy the hormones and pregnancy and all that kind of stuff that pregnancy has um i definitely have the pregnancy brain i really don't remember stuff anymore like where i put stuff i forget i am breast they're very tender um i noticed i've noticed when i take a shower um it depends I, I think it depends because when the water hits me or hits down here um here um it's very tender and it's very like sensitive like i just don't want the water to hit me directly in my breast because it hurts like it's not it's not it doesn't hurt that much but it's just uncomfortable and i've never had that never in and every pregnancy I've had, I've never had that tender breast. Like, never. Um, and since, ever since this pregnancy, uh, ever since, like, I hit, like, 25 weeks around there, I've always had, like, this this tenderness in my breast that I don't want the water, warm water to hit me, hit me basically. Right now, at this moment, I don't have no morning sickness or anything like that anymore. Although I do have, um, like some foods is just disgusting still but it's not like that morning sickness i had earlier i didn't have that much morning sickness so it was just like just a few like gross stuff that just grosses me out but i really never like threw up probably i threw up um maybe two times in the early weeks maybe i threw threw up like two times but that's pretty much it like i've never really thrown up like every single day like a very bad morning sickness like a lot of people get i've never been that bad not really um i feel that i'm still measuring a bit small but like i've noticed i've noticed that I, my bump is actually growing now and i've noticed that um i have like more back pain i feel like because of the baby weight basically um the doctors did tell me though that the baby was like really inside like inside uh of me so that's why i'm not you know big bump um so that's what the doctor said to me because i i was you know i was not i guess comfortable i i don't know like i've never like carried a girl before and i don't know if that has anything to do with it to be honest probably doesn't but I didn't know, like, I was really curious. I was just like, is this normal? Is this not normal? Like, what's going on? Like, is she growing? Is she measuring fine? They did tell me when I went to the ultrasound. Uh, I think it was like 20, around 24 weeks, 25 weeks when I went to the ultrasound because they couldn't get her spine. Uh, they did tell me I was, measure, I was measuring 
uh, 24 weeks and four days, and I was I was 24 weeks and six days, so I was like two days behind on the ultrasound measurement thing. But on my <clears throat> on the fundal height or measure, I don't know how they how is it called, but it's basically when they measure your stomach. Um, she told me that was measuring good, um, but well, the last time I went there, she told me that I was measuring good. But then I went there again because I have appointments now every month, every two weeks, I think it is. And they told me that I was measuring a bit small. But that is very, like, I guess I'm not shocked or anything about that because I know I'm measuring small. Like, I know it. Like, nobody has to tell me. I know already. And so, basically, that's when what's been going on. Like, I'm not measuring, um, you know, as big as I want to be measured but I'm not. Um, but they, they told me the baby was really inside. So probably that's why I wasn't sticking out that much. So maybe that's why I was not, you know, having a bump. How they say bump. But I've known a, a couple girls that don't have a huge bump. So that was my mom. But and so, um, you know, I, I was just not measuring the way I want to measure basically. And I guess that's pretty, pretty much it. What was really going on? I don't have no, nothing else that's been going on with me. Honestly, it's just been really. Mm, if I can scale this pregnancy one through ten, one being like the worst and ten being the best, I think I can rate it as a six. You know, like it's it's better than, than, than you know, it's it's good. It's really good. It's not the worst, you know, pregnancy. But um that's pretty much I mean, whenever 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 you see, you know, other ladies or other women having a bigger bump, it just it makes you think like your baby's not growing a pro like properly, you know? And like I feel like I don't know, I just I just feel like that like I I see other bumps and I'm like, "Oh my god, look at her. She's like huge and look at me." And we're the same weeks. Like, you know what I mean? Like like, it's just a feeling that every woman gets. And if you're pregnant with a small bump, I think you understand. Because, honestly, that's just a thing that only women understand, honestly. But, yeah, um, so that's pretty, pretty, pretty much going on with me is that I'm doing really good. I take my prenatal vitamins at night because they don't do nothing no good to me. Um, so... Now, for the do, I'm gonna show tell you. I'm gonna sorry for the kids. They just they don't even care. I'm doing a video. They don't care. They don't, they don't care at all. Uh, but baby is um, baby girl is as big as a cabbage, as a cabbage. Um, about fourteen point five inches, two pounds at least, and I have thirteen weeks to go. Isn't that just amazing? Uh, milestones. By the end of the second trimester, baby is now measuring about 14 and a half inches. More than a foot long. His weight is creeping up the charts to coming in around 2 pounds. That's double what it was 4 weeks ago. Most babies this age, yours included, still like to snuggle in a slightly curled position inside the uterus. Uh, fetal position basically, that's what it means. Um, 27 weeks pregnant is how many months? Uh, if you're 26 weeks pregnant, you're in month six of your pregnancy, so three months to go. But yeah, guys, I, I'm just very excited, honestly. Um, this is funny. Two weeks ago, your belly was a soccer ball, and by the 26 weeks pregnant, your uterus has swelled to the size of a basketball. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's funny. And actually, um, your baby can hear you. Uh, but now that it's m it's muffled, muffled because the ears are still covered in vernix, um, that waxy protective thing, um, coating on the skin, you know, <clears throat> that the baby has all over the skin, basically. And um, yeah, that's what baby is doing, and baby is measuring, and baby is pretty much already 
a baby. At the end of all me all my updates, I usually give a bump update or a bump shot, how they say. I'm gonna give you guys a bump shot and and I do have stretch marks, but this is not from this pregnancy. Um I was pregnant two times already, so I'm not skinny at all. Um I feel like the baby weight is always gonna be there unless you really work out but it, i feel like it's always gonna be there like so something is gonna be there like at least a niche of of your baby weight is always gonna be there like like i've never seen no flat stomach after having a baby it's always like it's always something small okay it can be like an inch half an inch but it's something always gonna be there you know what i mean like you're you're not gonna freaking be the size of how you were and that's okay you know every woman is different every woman is beautiful the way she is made the way she is i i don't judge anybody to be honest and yeah i'm just scooting back because i'm gonna show you guys my belly okay Ooh. okay now Alrighty, guys so <clears throat> so i mean i can let me put this up a little bit Let's do one with a shirt off. I know a lot of people like this shirt. I like it too. Honestly, I have a lot of black shirts. A lot of people question me. Oh my God, do you have a bunch of black shirts? Because I always wear black shirts. Like seriously, I I just love black shirts. Like they're my, my favorite thing ever. But, um, okay. I feel like baby is more on the top though than the bottom. I feel like the bottom is just like nothing in there. But baby is on the bottom too because uh, the last time I did an ultrasound, um, I could feel like um, her leg kicking down here. So weird. But yeah. All right, guys. So let me put this camera a little bit down because I don't know if you guys can actually see. Okay, probably there you go. And my room is a mess, so don't mind it. Here with the shirt. Oh my God. Here with the shirt down. Hold on, let me just fix my pants. Okay, I feel like baby's on the top more. Like, you can actually see it, you know what I mean? Like, down here is just, like, my fatness. But, <clears throat> here's with the shirt up. You guys can really... I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm 27 weeks pregnant. But, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright, guys, so you guys ready to see me? Okay, so... Okay, so basically... Um, okay, really? Here we go. So this is 27 weeks, almost, well, I'm going to be 20, 28 weeks next week, so, yeah, there it is, there it is. What do you think, like, do you think I'm big, or do you guys think I'm small, like, what do you guys think, like, I don't know, to be honest, like, when I see myself, I feel big from the, from the up top, like, looking down, but, like, looking over there, I feel small, I don't know, what do you guys think? Like, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I'm in a good size for 27 weeks or what? Um, let me scoot back up here. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, just let me know. I mean, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what, like, you know, let me know if... Just let me know. Um, I eat everything. A lot of people ask me if, if, if since pregnancy... Um, have I like refused to eat something and I really love everything. I don't have no favorite food choice I eat everything. I'm a little picky though on the food like I've always been picky though It's not pregnancy. This is not pregnancy at all. I've always been picky on food But pretty much what I've ate uh, before pregnancy. I still love now today in this day. So yeah, so that's awesome Anyways guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys really enjoy like always hit the like button comment down below and I'm doing these um, weekly updates, so make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, make sure to comment, make sure how make sh make sure to tell me how many weeks you are if you are pregnant, uh, or or just tell me something fun. You know, I like to reply to you guys. So, um, that's gonna be it, guys. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Like always, God bless. Subscribe. Do what you do. God bless. Goodbye.